Welcome to day 29 of the AKT 30 day challenge. I know you've been working really hard and we've had lots of comments. Thank you very much for all the feedback that you've been finding these videos helpful. Just two days to go now, so let's make the most of these last 48 hours. Let's start as ever with a high yield question on genetics. So the correct answer here is B, 25%. So sickle cell anemia is a recessive condition, autosomal recessive. What that means is that for someone to have the full-blown sickle cell disease, rather than be the carrier or known as sickle cell trait, they have to have both of the abnormal or faulty genes. So in this case, we can have a quick look that both parents are carriers. So you're going to get one gene from your mother, one gene from your father. So the risks for any of the offspring they have is a 25% chance that they'll actually have sickle cell anemia because they get a faulty gene from their mum and faulty gene from their dad. There's a 25% chance that they're absolutely fine. They're not a carrier. They don't have the disease either because they get both of the normal genes from their parents. And then there's a 50% chance that they become carriers themselves so that they'll have sickle cell trait because they get a faulty gene from mother or father and a normal gene from the other parent. So autosomal recessive, the risk if both parents are carriers of any of the children having it is 25%. If it was an autosomal dominant condition, then if the one parent's got it and the other one hasn't, then the risk is 50% that they'll have the disease, 50% that they won't. So um, let's look at some of the kinds of genetic conditions that fall into these groups. So autosomal recessive, we looked at sickle cell anemia. Another disease is thalassemia, um, cystic fibrosis, uh, and phenylketonuria, which is one of the things that we test for in the newborn screening program using the Guthrie test. Some of the conditions that are autosomal dominant would include things like Huntington's um, and some of these others listed here. And then we've got X-linked, so things like Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, and some of these listed here are X-linked. So genetics is an important topic. It is something that people struggle with both in AKT and CSA. So it is worth reading up on some of these relatively common conditions, but also learning how to interpret one of these pedigree symbols um, and to understand the risk between autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive. Now you've got less than 48 hours left to the exam. I know you've been working really, really hard. It's important that this last few hours you make the most of it. At this point what you might be focusing on is perhaps just doing a few questions if you've not already done a mock perhaps doing a mock but really mostly looking at any areas that you feel less confident in um, just maybe you know whatever your weakest topics just make sure you've at least looked at them once read up on them a little bit and perhaps if you've got time go over some of the key statistics topics some of the key organizational topics just to refresh your memories because while these are only 10 percent each of the exam they're relatively easy marks if you've covered the topics well so um, tomorrow will be the last 30-day challenge video uh, we won't be having a question tomorrow we'll just focus on some really important exam techniques or some tips for the exam day itself so um hope this has been useful and do join us again tomorrow for the last one before the exam thank you so much